After this week, some teams will already be starting district play, including the nine-team Katy ISD district. So before the games that really count start, the Katy Tigers figured they'd schedule one more monster non-district game. And boy, is this a good one, as two serious state contenders went at it Friday night. Atascacita visited Katy in our DQ Game of the Week. It's only the second week of the season, but both of these teams were in playoff form as Katie would draw first blood. Caleb Coger on the bootleg decides to keep it himself and the senior showing off some speed as he wins this foot race to the pylon to make it seven, nothing Tigers. Atascacita would match it. This one from the same spot on the field, same play call, same result, but this time it's through the air. Zion Brown to Claude Slaughter, and we're tied at seven apiece. The Eagle offense able to move the ball against the Katy defense, and later it's Brown rolling out again. He puts some nice touch on this one to Kyron Lee. He makes a defender miss, and the Atascacita Eagles take their first lead of the game at 14 to seven. So we move to the fourth quarter. Game tied at 21 apiece when Coger finds Micah Caning in the back of the end zone. 201 yards and two touchdown passes for Coger as Katie extends the lead to 28-21. Blaylock would cap another impressive scoring drive for Atascacita as he goes in untouched to tie the game at 28 apiece with just under three minutes left in regulation. But as they've done so many times over the years, Katie responds on the ground as Seth Davis takes the pitch and takes advantage of some great blocking up front and houses it from 53 yards out, give him 193 yards on the night as the Tigers hang on for a hard-fought win, 35-28. Both teams look playoff ready. The Game of the Week is brought to you by Dairy Queen for treats and eats before and after the game.